Ba-dum. <laughs> if you guys don't know what time it is and what time of the year it is, this should tell you. Um, of course, I was hasty, the most hasty to open packs from this new set. Really wanted to get the few cards from the set that I actually really want, um, of course. So I had to open a box for myself. We got some stuff here. Uh, I think this is worth maybe something-ish, I've been told. I don't know whether this is worth anything. I don't know whether any of this is uh, these things like like any of these other ones are like worth a whole lot, but whatever. I know this is worth like something or will be eventually again, so that's nice. Um, but all this stuff, it's stuff that we open. Um, so yeah, I don't know. You know what? Like that, I think might be worth something still ish, even with the reprint. Maybe I'm not sure. Haven't looked at any of the prices really. So we're going to use um, a pricing app for the cards that we open in just a minute. Um, but I'm not going to price through these ones. I can't really be bothered. These are the only really good like commons and uncommons I got. I even got like a list card because I got a set pack and that wasn't like too amazing. But anyway, we got what we got. We do not have control of the pack gods. And of course, I have a pre-release kit that I haven't opened yet. Uh, I will open it and see what's inside and whatnot. So we'll get to that eventually. But first, as I said, we're back to this. We're gonna gonna crack it if I can cut it properly. Jeez, that wasn't very very good there. But whatever. Also, I am trying a slightly different setup with my camera and lighting and all that, whatnot. Um, so yeah. yeah, I hope it looks good. I think it looks pretty good. On this end, it's a lot easier to to work around because before like I had it really tilted and it was all coming down this way uh, and that which just was annoying so yeah but anyway whatever I'm gonna use this for checking the prices we're gonna go through and we're gonna you know see what we get in these packs and I'm gonna take them out of the box make it life a little bit easier on myself as we go along. I'm hoping for dual lands, of course, of course. Uh, the Selesnya one the most. Um, and the new Legion Loyalty. That's the card that I really want to pull. I don't think anyone cares about these art cards no more, so yeah, we're going to get rid of those. No one really cares about McBasic. I like the artwork on these, but I, I don't think anyone cares about them. Alright, and as I saw with these, you get quite a few of the more common and uncommon um, legends um, and whatnot. So, we're not really going to go through too many of them uh, and whatnot. We're not going to go through many of these. We're just looking for the beef as it were, or anything like really good, that looks very faded right across the, the face of these, these new sort of, I don't know whether they're technically etched cards, but yeah, just if you would roll one or more dice, oh okay, dice rolling stuff, sure, dice rolling stuff, not for me, not for us, you know, it's just there. So that's that's about it. That's where we're where we're at with that. And I'm gonna make piles now of commons and uncommons. So that we can start putting those commons and uncommons away. Haha. <laughs> and not have to have them sitting here on on the mat. Oh actually I should guess check the prices as we go but I don't know if this is probably worth a whole lot uh, let's 
going on here? What did I do wrong there? <laughs> Everything's going wrong. Okay, gee whiz. Alright. Uh, while. A dollar thirty. There we go. Not worth uh, spitting at, in other words. Not worth spitting at. Okay, Shadow Heart. Yes, I did, f I did forget. I did forget we have this. So, Shadow Heart. 63 cents. Wow. Do I want to look up Raised by Giants? I guess we will. 77 cents. Alright, what's this? Caves of something, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 59 cents. Woot. What a pull. <laughs> That's what I mean, like, yeah. I know that some people will say, well, the, uh, the only good cards in the set are certain cards and whatnot. Okay, that's, that's cool, but I don't know which ones they are, dude. So, <laughs> yeah, give me, give me a break here, man. I don't know, I don't know what's worth what. I haven't looked at the prices, so, as I say, we're on this journey, and I hope it doesn't take me too long to sort of mess around and fuss around with that stuff uh, here to sort of figure it out but I'll cut stuff in editing anyway so we'll, it'll seem seamless to you guys at least uh, a bunch of comments I'm not going to look at a etched strange by giants L bear cub I'm reckoning this is like 50 cents or something Probably. Uh, but just in case it's. Uh, you know. A lot. Somehow. $1.92. Uh, so basically two bucks. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot is the very simple answer to that. I, w I do wish, yeah, I do wish we had just an automatic thing, but we don't. So we have to make do with what we have. This guy, Duke, I think Duke wasn't worth a whole lot. 54 cents, wow, okay. Dragon, I think this dragon's pretty cool, actually. Four dollars and twenty-one cents. So that's actually worth kind of something. Kind of something. Just something. About something. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. We keep going. That's what we do. We keep going. We keep pulling garbage <laughs> more garbage mazzy how much is mazza 81 cents okay rebel raven hulk 49 cents right so nothing oh boy we are almost a third of the way through the box In fact, this pack makes us one third of the way through the box. And we're in Pound Town. Pound Town. Absolute Pound Town. Alban Abrenado. Whatever his name is here. He looks like a 50 cent card. 70 cents. Wow. Alright. Shameless. Oh, it's probably worth like two bucks. Two bucks ish, I will say. So we haven't hit anything over like five bucks, I don't think. We haven't even got like Nature's Law, Arcane Signet, or anything like that. Any of like the good commons, uncommons. Oh, we've got a lightning bolt. I don't know how much lightning bolt from this is, but actually, I might. I don't know whether to look that up. Uh, hang on, we, we might look that up. 
I've even got some of the sketch ones. 90 cents. It's like four bucks for the showcase version. Which we got two of. So, you know, that that's okay, I guess. I guess. Five bucks each. Oh, maybe four or five bucks each. Australian dollars, mate. That's how it works. Uh, whatever her name is. Jahira. Oh, ha! <laughs> oh, yes! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's worth four bucks or so. That's cool. But this is even cooler. I don't even care how much this is worth. Oh! <laughs> this means can poo! Okay, that's... I don't know how much Minsk and Boo is. Is Minsk and Boo worth anything, or are they just a meme? Five dollars, basically. Maybe a little bit more. But anyway, this, even though it's not a full art one, will be going in, in my deck that it needs to go in very quickly. Actually, I wouldn't mind getting the Demir one, I guess, as well. Um... Because that one's in this set, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. So that's actually the first... Like, I know it's probably worth a bit. So, I'm not going to look that up. Or should I look it up just for you guys, I guess. I should look it up just for you guys. So you guys... Oh, there we go. Some swift, Swifty boots. Fast boots. I think they're still worth something-ish. Um, maybe I should look that up too. Basilisk collar. We've got an ox. Alright, let's look this up. I wanted to not do it. Whatever. We will do it. Uh, I could look at the full list, but... <laughs> what? It's gone so far down. It's like under nine bucks, dude. That's crazy for a $40 card, or what was a $40 something dollar card. But anyway, alright. We will take a trade in of plus whatever $30, I guess. If it's still, if the old one is still worth something. Because that's why I'm doing it. I want a full out one, but obviously they're harder to get. And we won't obviously pull one here, but Baldur's Gate's a dollar. Separate. Because I was looking at the wrong TND set, of course. But then, whatever. Whatever. Too many. Uh, Gulch. Or Glutch. Glutch. 50 cents. There we go. What a pull. What a pull. Oh boy. Gale Wizard Grip Prodigy. Uh, maybe two dollars ish. Our bear cub we know is not worth a lot. So John Dune, sixty cents. So maybe a dollar. What a pull that is! I mean, this kind of makes up for it to a degree. I know, but again, just we need better than this, guys. We need better than this. All right, we've got one so far of the. Essentially signed cards, so this one isn't technically signed. Um, I think I got two in the last box. So, I, I'm not sure whether that's the going rate. Not sure. But that's what we've got to work with so far. That's a common. Monster Manual seems like a 50 cent card. We've got actual three rares. Guess we better check to see how bad they actually are. Well, it's worth like four bucks. Wow. <laughs> Why is that worth so much? That's so weird. Uh, Grog, Grogon. Grogion? Didn't we have this? Yeah, we did. I'm guessing the foil's just a little bit more, maybe. Maybe a little bit less. Hands, like 65 cents. Woot! We are going to Pound Town. Pound Town! Absolute Pound Town. 
population me. Right, arcane signet. That might be worth something, maybe a couple bucks by now. A mythic. Oh, whoops, that's an uncommon. Rune tail. I don't think rune tail is worth a whole lot, if anything. So I don't think I'll look that up. It's not from the main set, so or from the set, so it, it really doesn't matter because it's probably been printed f tons anyway. So whatever. So font of magic, like six bucks. How much is arcane signet down to now? Too curious. <laughs> Especially since I opened one before, so like a dollar maybe. I guess it's good if you want to pick one up, but it's not good on the other end of like me trying to sell it or trying to get money's value worth out of it. I mean, it's good for storeholders who open 50 of them or whatever and can sell 50 of them. But not for us, who are only selling maybe one or two. 50 cents. Woot. Zelvor. Zelvira. 80 cents. Woot. Like maybe two dollars. Ah, uh, absolute pound town. Pound town. Tasmania. Baklal. <laughs> I'm sure that's how you say it. 53 cents. Woo! Oh, oh, hold on there, big boy. Noble. Oh, cool. We've actually got a spy garden. That's sweet. 81 cents. Actually, what did I want this for? Hmm. That's weird, but whatever. That's fine. I will take it, I guess. It's the first decent hit we've probably got, but it's probably worth nine bucks right now. So, I'm not going to look that up. Wow, that was a lot of those. Right, we've seen that. We've seen that. So we know they're not worth any. Pound Town. We're still in Pound Town here. We have not made the price of this box up. That is what we're looking for here. We have all of... Maybe a few dollars. Artisan. Oh, a mythic. I don't know whether it's any good. 50 cents for Artisan. Is this ship worth anything? Nordlid. That's the net that's the third mythic. Five dollars? Okay. Oops. Well, it was five dollars, I swear. Okay, what? what is this? I opened one of these cards in one box and now I've opened three. I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. A box is extremely swingy, like in terms of the number of like specific cards you can kind of get. They must be. They must be because that... I don't know. 80 cents. <clears throat> I mean, do I use it for something? I'm trying to think what I could use it for. Not that it's, you know, unusable, but I'm just being like, uh, do I have anything to go in? I mean, I could sell it. But Lay. Uh, champion? Just the regular one? Like two bucks? Okay, alright. Whoa! <laughs> We've got a mythic, another mythic, but not a good one, I don't think. Um, at least in my opinion. Wild Mage? It's an it's a etched one, but still whatever. 
Like, maybe this is worth like maybe six, seven bucks then? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, etched foil, 12 bucks. Okay. That's kind of alright, I guess. That is the first card over five bucks that we've gotten. Technically, these would be over five bucks too, but they'll be back up. Uh, they'll be back up soon. Uh, I got a borderless one, which I don't know if that actually adds to the price. I guess, I'm assuming, 12 bucks. So that's the second card that we've got over um, five bucks. It's illusionist. I'm assuming illusionist braces is worth something. I'm assuming. Oh, it's the list, or is it? Is it the list? I'm, oh, yeah, it is the list, isn't it? Because it's in the list slot. My dumb eight. Nine bucks or so, so you know. Guess that's kind of almost over ten, over ten bucks. But it's the third card we've got over five bucks, at least. I oh, actually four, fifth, six. So I don't know. Two cards, three cards, I think that were over 10 bucks and 8 was it that I said over 5 bucks so we're still in pound town extreme pound town over here last pack it has taken a while yes boulders gate okay probably not a lot not huge amount, right? Unless, I know there's a lot of hype around maybe Gate Tribal and what, a dollar, cool. Well, absolute feelings of Pound Town have been acquired. As I said, I don't really think we, like besides one Arcane Signet, we didn't get a Nature's Law, I don't think. Not that I saw anyway, um, in the lot. And we only got one arcane signet. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> like I say, there's no controlling the price or what we pull or any of that stuff here. We pull what we pull. If we pull a dud, we pull a dud, you know? It is what it is. So, that's it. That's kind of it. We can't. I can't fudge this, or I can't just be like, oh, I pulled twenty mythics or whatever. You know, like that's not. It's not what we did. Um. So, yeah, it's sort of one of those things about you know happening to open, you know, some stuff. And I mean, there's some stuff here. Like again, that like I'm pretty happy with. Like I might use that not too sure I would I will use one of these at least this one's I guess an extra one and I, I don't know what we're doing with any of this so we didn't pull the card that we were or any of the cards that we were looking for so that makes me sad um, so yeah I will sort this a little bit as I'm chatting away here actually I'm just going to sort into Foils versus non-foils as we go here. Um, I don't think we've got any foil mythics. We only got the four mythics. We got some etched cards. We got a list card. And we got that. We got that altar. The rest was regular art. Whoa! Anyway, sorry about the chaos there, guys, of everything collapsing. I actually had another collapse just after the camera went off as well, after I'd set everything back up again. 
so yes, um, ugh, right, anyway, where were we, yes, right, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight foil rares, one sketch art, and yeah, four mythics in there, so, yep, um, yeah, I'm kind of a bit lost here where we were at because... Ah! I'm just going to finish it like this because I'm I'm done. I'm kind of done, guys. Sorry. But that and that. And I think that was it. I can't remember now. I think these were the only two rares that were worth anything to sneeze home about what not so yep sorry guys um but chaos has happened here again so and i'm gonna have to clean it up so again for about the fifth time so whatever um i'm kind of over it right now but you've seen what we've opened here i oh, are we had that kit ah stuff it i'll do it in another video if you guys really want to see it ah Sorry, guys, I'm just done. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed.